Previously on Final Fantasy VII Remake, I had to defeat Hell House on hard mode twice in order to get both Madam M's manuscripts and Chocobo Sam's manuscript. I also realized I already fulfilled Tifa's resolution requirements. Finally, I defeated Abzu on hard mode without taking any damage somehow. Okay, I want to do Chapter 3 with minimal quests so that I can get Barrett's resolution. But... How many quests do I actually have to solve in order to get to the next... In order to be able to... Do... Uh, uh, to, uh, to address the story. Like, what's, what do I do? I think maybe I can get away with two. Cloud! You were the first to... I have developed new I material. plan to develop more. I'll Who's keep like repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope... That went well! Uh, Think of each job as- It's not what you know. <laughs> not a patient teacher. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, that does get me- uh, allow me to advance the story. Now I just gotta save Johnny's ass once again. Okay, you can actually skip the- if you don't do enough quests, you can actually skip the apartment event and, and force Tifa to use her default dress. So let's just go in. Skip side quests. I need to have as few side quests as possible to get the Barrett resolution. It hurts to do so, though. I freaking hate skipping side quests. We're back. Did you have fun? What if I say not in the mood for the drink? Not really in the mood right now. But if you were, then maybe. <laughs> Oh, she still makes something, I guess. Well, most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. <laughs> I gotta go. <sighs> Enjoy. Okay, finally got to chapter 8. I have to do something to... I have to do at least one quest before I can go back to Aerith's house, I guess, or... Hmm. Or I could just skip it entirely, I don't know. Hmm. Weird. I mean, as long as I, if I only do one, it's probably fine. Oh my! Is that a Moogle? You can see me. Welcome to the... You must not be from Mogwanit. That's right, Coop. And you know... Uh... Well, anyway, they can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. If you find any... So, Mog... Oh, you know... Of course. Just like Mog the Moogle. I see your work. Yep. So what are you gonna... Keep on working. As you always... You know... Huh? I suppose... Hello. I'm some people. Yeah, that's, so that's the dialogue for finishing at least one quest, huh? I wonder, what if I bought the graveyard key now, and then just held on to it you guys are by ending the chapter? I've got a ton of medals, Koopa, which means... Yeah! Tifa? <sighs> Cloud, you're alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. Okay, so same dialogue for her. I don't think her dialogue ever changes, but Aerith's dialogue uh, and Madame M's dialogue will change, I think. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc? <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. 
How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. <laughs> you look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Okay, is there a way to not do any quests? Or do as well as possible? Because I really want to get Cloud's worst dress. So, can I really just hop back in there and not do a single quest? No! <laughs> Mice! Dogs, cat, what? Alright, you're up. Come on. Bruh. You look fine. Aerith, what are you wearing? I know, right? It's bad. Like, super bad. I've been trying to figure out if there was anything more I could have done with it, but... Doesn't really matter if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Nope. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? Who knows? Okay, so at that once you get that that mem M item, I guess the dialogue just goes back to normal. Bro, look at the comments. They're all roasting her dress. Cheap, boring dress, dude. That's so sad. It's not that bad, is it? Why are we here? To see the honeybee in. You said you'd. <laughs> you were born for this. That should give me achievement, right? Notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. 
I mean, still says the same thing, but he doesn't call you out for skipping side quests like Madam M did. Huh. That show today blew my mind! Yeah, that'll be one to remember. Hey, look at me! I could dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. I'll buy it you was a amazing. drink. That was the best performance I've seen. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Oh, did you see wow. their look of surprise? Now that was a show. Cloud? Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello? Aerith to Cloud, come in! Aerith to Cloud, come in! One more. Come on. I'm buying. Aerith to Cloud, come in. Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No. But you're so pretty. Okay, I got the achievement. Finally. Dress in the nines. That's one of the worst achievements in the world. Yes, all dress is obtained. Now all I need to do is see the chapter 14 resolution with Barrett. I suffered so much for this, Barrett. Hopefully your resolution will make up for it. I don't have to actually commit to finishing this chapter either. Yeah, Cloud's side quest count does not matter for Barrett's <laughs> resolution, I think. Okay, this time Barrett's not in the room. I think I w it worked. Yep, there he is. It's gonna be even more complicated and rebirth with even more party members, huh? You should rest up while you can. Likewise. No, I'm good. Real good. <laughs> Besides, when I close my eyes, I start thinking about things. About people. Like Finn. Lazy little punk. Kid would do damn near anything, except what you told him. But ask him to paint you a picture, and boy howdy. Those stamps in the tunnels. Finn's work. Everyone. Then there's Al, Intel guy. He had these tricks for stealing codes I still don't understand. Stole his share of hearts, too. But when it came to the ladies, he just had the one trick. Bouquet of flowers hidden behind his back. Funny to think, some of them might have even come from here. He pulled a flower trick on Tifa once, believe it or not. <laughs> she told him where to stick him. Of course she did. Our quartermaster Nellie had a good laugh at that. She was tight with Jesse. People sometimes took him for sisters, even. They'd say no way and get upset, but then they'd start giggling and, you know. Yeah, they'll all be fine. They're strong. They're tough. Like me. <laughs> After we save Aerith, I'll introduce you to them. Sounds good. <laughs> Never thought I'd feel better after talking with your hard-boiled ass. Think you can sleep now? Oh yeah, like a baby. You've done more for us than we deserve. Okay, so that's so that's it for now. And now back to the regular hard mode grind, I guess. Or maybe I should just 
correct the timeline and do all the side quests out of guilt after Madam M guilt tripped me. Okay, I kind of hate this boss because of the screaming mechanic. Sometimes it's hard to tell what cover is sufficient enough to prevent the scream from stunning you. Piercing scream. Yeah, sometimes some covers are not high enough to protect you from the scream itself. I guess it has to be tall enough cover. Anyways, once he runs out of items to throw at you, you can try to braver him to expedite the process of trying to pressure him. Yes, parry helps so much here. Okay, that actually interrupts the piercing scream. You can use Kiraga to deal damage if, you're, if you just want to save on slots. That built a lot of pressure. And, uh, Cloud... I'm gonna use a rise as well. I think Kiraga is more efficient though. Well, if you have high magic, that is. Yeah, 4,000's not too bad, not, not too good either. Okay, next phase is... that That's when we get Bale Fire. Just to give us even more things to worry about. Ugh. Even when you guard it, it does a ton of damage. Tifa already took a ton of damage in the previous phase for some reason. Ah, even one blocked a thousand. Damn. It still has so much ammo. Dude. Please be good enough for piercing scream. Yes, good, good. Seriously, I don't know which covers are good enough sometimes. Okay. Now I need to... Ah. Okay, good. I got Braver in before the incorpor incorporal part. Now I just need to wait for you to spawn somewhere so Aerith can deal some big damage. Where'd you go? Oh, there. Seriously, facing in and out of existence. Ugh. Give them a healing. Kill them with kindness, please. Okay, Cloud. Sorry. Double Braver. Since it's only vulnerable physicals at the moment. I just keep switching back and forth. Got him! Ooh, that was actually a pretty good run. That was fun. All this time, you were waiting for someone to come and play with you. Ew, playtime's over. Fuck that. And I use up so much MP. Well, not that much MP, but man, if I don't find a box soon, I'm kind of screwed, aren't I? Alright, I think this box right here is supposed to get me some MP. Yes, please. That will help me get the rest of the way through this dungeon. Okay, to right off the bat, I have Tifa cast haste while having Cloud run up in order to bait the enemy and hope Tifa doesn't get hit. Okay, now you use Blazaga. Switch back to Tifa. Tifa needs a guard while standing behind... Eligor, so that Eligor doesn't try to move from his spot. Yes, that will allow the blizzard to hit Eligor. Okay, at this point, just try to build up ATB for the next phase. Yes. Give me ATB! Now! Anytime. Okay, this guy's got a new trick up his sleeve for the second phase. This time, Reflect hits everyone. You can still breach Eligor, but you cannot remove it from yourself. So hopefully you already casted haste on everyone. And now, time to set up a big Eroga. Unfortunately, I got hit by the spear, but I have enough... <laughs> interrupt defense that I can just cast my spell anyways, even if I take a shit ton of damage. Watch out for high wind. Unfortunately, Eligor will quickly recast Reflect, so you need to just have Tifa try to punch it enough to get it back on the ground. Ugh. Oh, that was close. Seriously, that, that Reflect spam is so evil. 
Oh, that was very fortuitous. Yeah, air combat kind of sucks in this game. Okay, switch to Tifa because she is good at running away from the winds of Gehenna. Unfortunately, it takes a while for those wheels to spawn in. So, I guess I better just attack normally until the wheels spawn properly, dang it. Okay, now they spawn in. Time to go to work, Tifa. hey Alright, same thing on the right wheel. I'm glad we can select our target in the command menu. That makes things so much easier. Okay. Now to hopefully make the best use of this stagger time. I wonder if Synergy was the right call in this battle, because I feel like it can easily backfire on you, huh? Okay, let's just use, use a true strike. Everyone, do something big. Infinity's end. It's over. I hope he can make it in time. That thing is slow as shit. Another true strike, or not. Go. Right. Right. Hmm. Okay, we have to fight this thing again. Mechanically, still the same. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Slow, mysterious specters. Seven arcane ward that we can all use. This is not a big arena, so I don't think it matters too much. Okay, that pressured the Enigmatic Spectre a bit. Fortunately, it's also- the Enigmatic Spectre is also kind of far away. That kind of sucks. And the Lamp Post looks like it might get in the way of certain spells, too. Eroga, because that does not care about obstacles. Yeah, that actually does some decent stagger damage, surprisingly. Oh, nice. A bonus. That almost filled it up. Damn. Ah, oh, crap. She got hit. Go on. That prevented her from getting there in time, I think. Ugh. Look at that. It's just so close to staggering. I'm just going to have to kill another minion. Fortunately, I have... Aurora. That will be good enough. Yeah, Aerith can just spend as much MP as she wants here because she's not going to be usable for the rest of the chapter. After this, Cloud will be the designated mage. We'll make it quick. Yeah, All right. Let's go to town with this. Big Fandaga. Too bright. One more. And done. Okay, first part of the fight's mostly the same. Guard the first hit. Have Tifa just run around. Cast haste so we all get ATB. Look for an opportunity to cast Bio on him at some point. Normal Bio. Biogo is too it takes too long. He'll punch you if you try to do that. Okay, overpower. It actually uh, 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 flinches him, so it'll and also allow Cloud to do synergy. Aha! Storm's coming. Prepping for a bombing run. I'll copy. Say what? I see you're doing whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Get some rubbing off on me. <laughs> okay. Need a change to you. I'm gonna set up lifesaver and steel skin in preparation for 
the final phase. Okay, he's still poisoned. Got my ATB back. That will be important. Because I need to prevent him from being able to use his stupid pyramid move. That means double Aeroga now. Okay, now to take down the helicopter. Okay. Skip some more ATV. Man, that guy is making so many moaning sounds. Okay, I'm just gonna have Tifa AoE stop. I'm panicking right now. Oh man, we took some damage. Okay, now they're stopped, we need to go use Aroga. They're next to each other too. So I'm pretty sure this means that they both will take decent AoE damage, I hope. Kick him to death. Okay, now one more dude. Oh. He took a shock over his face. That sucks. Alright. That synergy killed them. Okay, first of all, I, off, I need to get Barrett's limit break up. And that means I need to use Magnify Blizzara in order to stagger multiples of them at the same time. Yes, yeah, so look at it, it'll already fill up quite a bit. Of course, it'll take more than before because I'm using his level 2 limit break. That means the limit break requirements are higher. As for Tifa, yeah, in order to reliably open these guys up for comboing, you have to use parry in order to hopefully knock them off their feet. Ah, got too far away. There's too many of them. Okay, now E or K. Out. Uh, the ones on the ramp are going to be a problem, as usual. Alright, let's just use Blizzara again. Hope that's enough. Oh, uh, there's still a guy that the Blizzara missed, and that's not good because I also have to deal with the guys up high trying to snipe me. Yeah, Paralyzing Fluid, no! Get away! Ah, uh, the other sniper is right there, huh? Ah! Not good. Got a whole heap of lag with your there we go. Yeah. Alright, good. Rise and Fall is ready, in case you need it. Okay, go over there. Just a very act of trying to grab its own minions can, uh, will uh, could actually uh, uh, d damage Tifa. 
Okay, Chi Trap will not do a whole lot of damage because Tifa has Metal Knuckles on, so her magic damage is really low right now. But the whole point of Chi Trap is to be able to do a little bit of crowd control to make them easier to manage, and then you can you have a drop kick like that. Ow. Ugh, it's not in range for Tifa's punches. Ugh. Get away. Okay, get cl in. Unfortunately, there, if there's no real. It's hard to, her for her damage to have appendages without using magic. It won't do a total ton of damage, but it should do enough to at least be useful. Push in the next phase. All right, hopefully you have warding uh, 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 bind because these guys can actually inflict sleep during this phase, which is very, very bad. Yeah, see that? It's not blockable either. One hell of a light show. Oh, yeah. Okay. You also need to start casting Magnify Blizzaga to take care of the mooks. Okay, get... Need to get in front of the heart, too. Ugh. I wish there was a way to see pressure duration. Okay, just punch it. Focus strike. Alright. We got it. Uh, I should probably get a little closer before trying to use true strike. Okay. Now you're in range. And now I can do my big combo. Oh, so close to killing it with the combo. Oh well, I'll just go punch it to death. And Cloud stole my kill, jerk. Thanks for tuning into this Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.